Hey, this is Sean Sean here. Uh, I'm going to do a painting today. This is a large um, 48 by 48, so 4 by 4 painting. I'm going to do it in my Metal Mayhem style. So, as you may know, that starts off with a lot of brushwork. You know, really big 2, 3 inch brushes. Maybe a little more detail, but generally just brushwork to kind of put down a base layer. And then I'll work to mostly my metal tools. So I try primarily to use metal tools. So this is kind of a painter's tool to kind of, you know, work edges and things as you paint house paint, but it's really great for this kind of style. One of my favorite tools. Another really favorite tool of mine, which you can tell by the use, is a cement trawler. Um, now I got this from idea from uh, Eric Neiman. So he did originally, he works as an architect and um, I saw his work totally blew me away. He used um, this same tool, the cement trawler, but with teeth, and then he kind of pulled the paint along. And I think he works mostly in oil, but he just pours like gallons of paint craziness and pours it off and you're like whoa and the effects are like really cool like kind of like an acrylic pour but a little bit of alteration um, from the traditional acrylic pour so I kind of took some of those ideas um, I've also taken ideas from Gerhard Richter as far as that style of you know pulling the paint along with metal blades and obviously I worked uh, closely with um, Don Clausen me and him did a show together a couple years ago when he was uh, with the studio for a show and um, you know, he's, his style really profoundly affected me. You can check out an interview on him. It's a six part series, so it's pretty long. <laughs> I think each section is 10 minutes, so it's basically an hour long interview, but I, you get to see his whole three story house worth of paintings. I mean, this guy has crazy amounts of paintings and all those paintings are from 2000 up. So he has none of the paintings from 2000 to the 1960s when he started. So he's sold through a lot of inventory and he has still a lot of inventory. And this guy, he's literally a beast in the nine to five painting. Um, I'm trying to get there, but we'll see. <laughs> but I'm going to lay down kind of a base layer. Um, so I'm going to, the, the main color I'm going to kind of focus in on this time is red. So red is more of a translucent color, so you kind of have to build it up. And I'll probably have the base colors a little bit different color. So as I go with red on top, you'll get those darker reds and, you know, the effect I want, but still maintain the overall feel of red. All right. Wish me luck. Thanks, guys. Okay, so that's one way you can kind of lay down a base layer. Um, so I'm using all kind of crazy different colors, little tiny bits of red, but no, mostly no red. And then I'm gonna start layering in the red, which I ran out of, so I didn't start the project right. So definitely have your materials set up. All right, see how it goes. All right, so now I'm gonna mix in some pure yellow pigment, which is totally crazy. Um, it'll be really extreme, I'll probably tone it way down, but it gives you really a nice, um, bold, bold look. All right, so I forgot to record the when I added the blue. So I kind of cut down a little bit of the red, add a little kind of blue, gray, um, really nice colors. It'll be translucent, so we'll see how it dries. But anyway, that's what's going on there. All right, I'm back again. Um, I added some blues, uh, blue, gray, and finally this really whitish uh, blue. Um, unfortunately, I didn't record, <laughs> so you guys missed all that. Anyway. Uh, it's probably close to finish, but we'll see. All right, this is Sean Sean again. So here I'm kind of at the final stage. Now let me get out of the way, see what's going on. So what I did is, um, I can actually just zoom in here. 
I always forget this thing has a zoom. But I kind of added a little bit of um, dark, as you can see, to kind of highlight, as well as um, kind of a whitish red. It's almost white. It'll look, it'll read white, but it's really um, just a touch red to kind of blend in with that red in a way. Um, so yeah, that's the end of the painting, and uh, hope you guys liked it.